Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Hellblade and was sacrifice. So let's go on for the next travel. We already can get one travel. story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur, the second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him, only good things were told of him. Yet he was the first of the gods to die. This story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, sickness. Swear an oath not to harm her son. One by one. They each be found. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Only Loki, father of Hela, the mistress of death, is not amused. That was an interesting story about Baldur. How uh, he got invincible. Okay. 
Dillian. There he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Way too many times. Where is he? Where has he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. He's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. He's in the dark world. The dark. The dark. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian told her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Senna explored new paths into the unknown. With this one. Well, definitely has something to do with oh yeah for it do you remember what love feels like see senua you've got it why isn't he here he's gone he's in the dark world he's gone to the dark world you're in the wrong world you saw that she's a strong other world the dark world without you Feast and rejoice, and amuse themselves by throwing spears and stones at Baldur, striking her with sword and axe. But he comes to no harm, whatever they do. The gods never cease to wonder at this great marvel. But Loki shapes himself into a woman and asks Baldur's mother, Is it really true that all things promise to keep him safe? I did not ask the mistletoe. Baldur's mother confesses. I thought it was too young. Oh dear. So that's how you feel all the time. She is pure darkness. says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, here is a wand, I will tell you where he stands. And Hoth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Hoth is slain. You broke, you killed, you 
couldn't see the darkness within you. The Northmen tell how the gods warned Baldur. His body was to be burnt on his ship, but they could not manage to push it into the sea and sent for a giantess to do it. She comes riding a wolf and has vipers for her reins. She pushes Baldur's ship into the sea with such force that the ground shakes and the rollers burst into flames. When Baldur's wife sees his body carried onto the ship, her heart bursts with grief and she dies. She's put next to her husband, and the pyre is lit, sending the dead to hell. But even so, the gods cannot accept his death. Your curse has claimed Dillian. Poor Dillian. He didn't know. He was kind. Years had passed since she left her father. She trained hard alongside her friend, Dillian. She saw things no one else could. Patterns. Shapes. An intuition that made her an exceptional warrior. Friendship turned to love. But the shadow of darkness never let her go. And she was caught between two worlds. That of Zinbel and her past. And Dillian future, White. two realities tearing at her soul. He was the only one that didn't mind the curse. He loved her one so done. much. But if it were about wasting your time, just delay it by minute by minute. <laughs> what does she think she's doing? <laughs> Overcome with grief, the gods send Hermod to ride to Hell and ask Hela to let Baldur return home. All the gods are weeping, he says. Are they? asks him. We shall see if he is truly missed. If everything in the world will weep for him, he shall go back to the gods. But if even one thing refuses, Baldur stays with me. The gods send messengers everywhere. Weep for Baldur, weep him out of hell. And everything wept. Men, beasts, earth, stone, trees, metal, everything. Except for a giantess they find in a cave. Baldur was never my friend, she says. Let hell keep what she has. 
The Northmen say that the giantess must have been Loki in disguise. tell how the gods punished Loki for Baldur's death. They captured him and took him to a cave. They fetched his two sons and turned one into a wolf and he ripped his brother apart. The gods used Loki's own son's entrails to tie him down and turned these bonds to iron and dangled a poisonous serpent over his face so that its venom would drip onto him. Each time the venom drips onto Loki's face he writhes in agony. The Northmen say that is the cause of earthquakes. A reminder, perhaps, that if even gods must accept death, then so must we. But it doesn't make sense. Words. That message was the But it doesn't mean anything. This is what Delian looks like. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. 
My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. Should we fix them by taking away their sight? But you give up the beautiful world. You, only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Is this the price you pay for the gift Gift that makes you so special in my house. Just another part of the person I know. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. Second, guys. Um, this is the last trial. It's just their game for you. You never know which way it's going. <laughs> I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than 40 and many older. And where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. your warrior trials. Delia will help me. The stench of rot. She can always taste it. Do you smell it? No. Don't worry. Not everyone can. So it was spring day when she went to the river with Delia and the others. I took a and I built with the water. The broken. She could taste the rot. No one else could. She knew something was wrong, something sinister. She begged them to leave, but they just laughed at her. <laughs> Soon enough, as the bodies piled see, up, this is what it no looks one was like laughing. And they knew Whoa. that she was not. Circle back. Holy shit. Oh fucking asses. What did I do wrong? Oh man, I'm dead.
Speak of a death, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farmhand, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. That is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon. And beware, because there will be death in that house. How do I bring the ladder down? Something. You found a way to climb the tower, the ladder. 
Second time that happened. Okay, we'll just pause. So what we do here, do here is we first uh, will clear up this region here, go through it, and then we have to clear this part so that we can access that part here. The bridge. The truth. The bridge. So this, this took me like three tries. What the fuck? 
fuck is going on, man? How did I die twice? This is unfair man, this is unfair, I cannot do this like this.
it is not easy, man. It is quite hard. What the fucking... such a thing. Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. My children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. Doesn't make no what if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. say that their all-father, Odin, gave his eye in exchange for a drink from Mimir's well, the well of wisdom. Mm -hmm. 
in blindness there can be wisdom. Only by giving can you receive in return. For this reason, I give my life and pass on my stories of the Northmen to you, Senua. They've gone. I'm still here. It's so quiet. It's so dark. It's okay. Listen to your own breath. Right. I can fall. Then you can't see at all. Good. Be aware of everything. Then 
look for another way. Just tell me what you find. Where is the house? See some doors kind of over here. Thankfully, I did not die here because I died almost too many times in the last trial. Death. The darkness is destiny. You are in control. This is going to be the final test of us. A well. There's a well. Don't turn back. I 
entire person. were open but you were gone and when it finally let her go she could be anywhere with no memory of how she got there when it comes for me i have no power over it. but here for the first time someone was there to help but i heard your voice You found your own way back. All you needed was a little help. Why is it going red? A little help. blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillian was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. strength to pass the warrior trials and she saw a way out to leave her past behind and become a warrior in Dillian's clan. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. Years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. The plague. Dillian? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. Senua, the suffering you've caused. This is your fault. You brought this plague to us. You have blood on your hands. They're coming for you now. They're coming. Hold your heavy strike. Hold it. Hold the heavy strike. Hold it. 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 Hold it.
bitch. I love. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. The suffering symbol. Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that are here in this sea of corpses? Do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? They were once brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. Or that you were a power because you banned from the curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on the fathers in well, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy?
If only you had done the same. The world would have been spared this horror. It's not too late. She's calling for you. Why don't you join her? Starting here from here in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good day. See you soon. Take care.